It was a keenly contested polls as residents came out in mass to cast their votes. Some observers on the field say the election was concluded as planned, commending both INEC and the voters. Well, everything has gone on well as planned. Um, the polling unit opened on time at uh, 8.30 and voting has been going on. It rained at a point and the rain end stopped and we continued. We never stopped even when it was raining. After two days of collation, the winner was finally announced with the APC, pulling 292,831 votes, while the PDP trailed with 195,791 votes. Oduwa Rotibi Odrayo of APC secured the highest number of uh, votes among all the 17 contestants, having satisfied, satisfied the requirements of the law. I hereby declare Oluwaru Tibi Odrayo Akredolu, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, as the winner and is hereby returned elected. Some of those at the collation center expressed their views on the entire voting and collation process. Now I congratulate them for collecting 10,000 error, but now they must keep the 10,000 error very well. They must manage it judiciously. It must be enough to feed them for the next four years. It must be enough to pay for their children's school fees in the university, primary and secondary school. It must be enough to pay for their hospital bill for themselves, their children, and their wives and their family. So that by this time in another four years' time, they would have learned their lesson. When they now give them 100000 for a vote, they will not even collect it again. We know that as a fact, there is a massive inducement in this election. And that this government, both at the federal, the APC government, both at the federal and the state government, have perfected the act of weaponizing poverty. They've turned poverty into a weapon of mass destruction. And what have they done is to go ahead and improvise, uh, impoverish our people and then affect their capacity to make a reasoned judgment. And we saw that play out in the years. I make us um, improve on the Edo 2020 in a way in terms of the arrangement and the, although a uh, certain shower of rain almost mar uh, the starting point of the election, but it came out again, although uh, we were not without certain itches in terms of card readers, you know, and I think INEC may have to do something about that. The security agency came out and did their work professionally. Even though you know there's a perceived violence that may take place in the state, they were also we are always at the red spot trying to ensure that they protect the voters and protect the, uh, 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 the, uh, the INEC officials to ensure that no harms come to them. The INEC officials too did a wonderful job by ensuring that they follow to the latter, coming out on time, distributing the materials on time, ensuring that the results tally with whatever they have in their, in their computer system. It's been an intense 48 hours for the voters and residents of Ondo State. However, the process has finally come to an end. According to the results released by INEC, Governor Rotimi Akeridolu of the All Progressives Congress returns back to the state government house. Residents will be hoping that he can now focus on the business of governance. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.